Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He abide with me. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to ask everyone, please, to talk to the Lord in prayer. Everyone, please, to stand and talk to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we come one more time in your name to give us thanks. We come, Almighty God, to worship you and to praise you. We come, Almighty God, just to let you know, let us know that you are still God and you are still reign, Almighty God. No matter what we are going through, you are still abide with us, Almighty God. Father God, you help us in our weakness, you help us in our sorrow, you help us in our pain. Father God, we ask you tonight that you cover each and every one of us under your blood. God, you say you hold us in the palm of your hand. And Father God, who those are not there, they are spaced there for those almighty God who are not here to go in the palm of your hand. So Father God, we ask you that you shed down your blood, almighty God, on this place. Father God, let us forget about ourselves and worship you. Father God, forget about the person that is beside us tonight and worship you in spirit and in truth. Father God, we ask you to take us and give us you tonight. We come in no other reason than to worship you. Father God, because whatsoever you do unto us, Almighty God, no one else could have done it. So we leave everything in your hands tonight. Bless and keep and sanctify. Bless the moderator, the Thank speaker, you you and those that are going to testify and sing tonight. Sing to the glory of God. We will worship you in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name. Shall we praise the Lord? Shall we praise the Lord? Hallelujah. I now turn over back to the night moderator. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, lift your hands and praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. The songwriter says, I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way. Praise God for the hand of God in all my life I see. Praise God. I believe there is at least, there are at least five or ten people in the house tonight that can lift your hands and say, I can see God's hand in my life. Come on, just lift your hands and give God a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Praise God. At this time, I will invite Sister Williams to come and to make us feel welcome in God's house. Praise God. Worship God as she comes. Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we lift up holy hands and magnify the Lord? Hallelujah. It is good to be in the presence of the Lord, isn't it? All right, so you're going to turn to your neighbor now and tell him it is good to be in the house of God tonight. Bless the Lord. I want to welcome you all in the presence of the King. I think this is the best place for us to be tonight. And of course, we are at the 60th night of our crusade. It is a privilege to be here. I just want to welcome each and every one. I notice that Bamboo is here in their numbers. Yes, their pastors as well is here. We have, yes. We also have some new converts down there. Maybe they don't want to identify themselves now, but I know them. All right, we have our own members from the Lower Buxton New Testament Church of God. Put your hands together for them as well. Bless the Lord. We have, of course, some visitors down there from other churches, and we give God thanks and praise. Let me also be specific in, you know, um, acknowledging our online viewers. Of course, we have persons from all over this globe who is looking on and watching our programs. I, even since even I got a call from one of my relatives overseas that, you know, she was enjoying our crusade in the night. And of course, we give God thanks and praise. Put your hands together for them as well. Bless the name of the Lord. It is always good to be in the presence of the Lord, my brothers and sisters. And we're going to just stand to our feet at this time. Sing this song. Welcome, welcome. Blessed Holy Ghost. And then I'll be turning over to our pastor. Can you all stand, please? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Say blessed Holy Ghost.
technicians and our technical team. Bless the Lord for them. Yes. Praise God. At this time, I'll be turning over to our mother. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Is there anyone in the house tonight with a burning testimony? Praise God. I don't want to take two hot, short, spicy testimonies tonight in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Has God been good to you? Oh, no. Has God been good to you, brothers and sisters? Praise God. Praise God. I'm going to ask two persons with a burning testimony just to run, come up to the front here. Praise God as we give you an opportunity to share your testimony about the goodness of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. One more testimony. Very quickly. Praise God. Praise God. From our visiting churches, from our host. Praise God. Praise God. One more short, spicy, and burning testimony. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank God um, you are true with your testimony. Um, you know, today I uh, get up going to St. Anne's Day. I know maybe lower box, I don't know where I'm talking, but from bamboo. And when I reach a tangled wood, I feel a sharp pain lick me in the head. And I begin to say, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. And you know, by the time we reach right down to go to the primary school there, a vehicle just drive out from the vehicle that I was in. And the guy just break up like that. And I said, nothing now happen. I plead the blood already. <laughs> and when I look into it, I said, if I never plead the blood of Jesus, I would really get a head lick. That's the reason why I get the shock first. Right? And when I plead the blood of Jesus, the devil couldn't make him plan. So I just want to thank God for Jesus. He is always there for us. Amen. Praise God. Somebody lift your hands and shout, Satan, lose again. Praise God. Come on, Satan, lose again. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to invite you to stand with me. And I'm going to ask you just to hold on to your neighbor's hand tightly. Praise God. We are going to go into a time of prayer. We know time is going. Praise the Lord. But we are going to call on the name of Jesus. Praise God. When we see some things happening around us, praise God, let us not take it for granted. Hallelujah. We know that the enemy is going to fight in every way possible. Praise God. But we are the church of God. I thought somebody would say amen. We are going to come under attacks from every angle. But we are the church of God. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. Satan is going to launch his darts. But who are we? We are the church of the living God. So we are going to call on the name of Jesus Christ, our God. And we are going to ask God to show up. He's going to show up spiritually in our lives physically. He's going to show up in the technical department. Come on, somebody. And he's going to reveal the problem. And it's going to be rectified. Somebody shout hallelujah. He's going to remove the spirit of heaviness. Hallelujah. And we are going to worship God tonight. Praise God. So as you hold on to your neighbor's hand, we are going to cry out to the Lord our God even now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Our God, our righteous and everlasting Father. Oh God, we come before your presence another time. Lord, we come, God, recognizing uh, that you are God. Uh, hallelujah, Father, we come recognizing uh, that you are worthy of praise and honor. You are worthy of glory and adoration. 
We come, God, recognizing that you are the God that sits high and looks low. And so, Father, tonight we come. We present, O oh God Almighty, the service in your hands, O oh God. Lord, we know that the enemy is fighting. We know that the church is under attack. Hallelujah to God Almighty. Right throughout this week, we have been under attack. But tonight, Father, we take a stand in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight we take authority by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And we plead the blood of Jesus Christ all over this place tonight, God. We ask you, Lord, to take charge of the atmosphere, God. We ask you, Lord, to take charge, hallelujah, the God of the equipment. We ask, oh God, that you take charge of the worshipers in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we recognize, hallelujah, that the enemy is trying all kinds of things, God, to disrupt the service, to disrupt that which you have in store. But tonight, God, we declare the plans of the enemy null and void. Father, we come, Lord, against every attack from hell. Father, we come, Lord, against every stronghold that is risen up against your church. Oh, God Almighty, we bind the powers of darkness tonight, God. We bind the powers of hell tonight, Father. And we declare that the Holy Spirit will be released under this roof. In the name of Jesus Christ, every hindrance, Lord God, we come against it by the power of the Holy Ghost of heaven. Every attack tonight, God, we counteract it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we command you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ, drop your weapon and flee. For the church of the living God has authority over you. The church of the living God has power over you. And so we declare victory in the house tonight. Every demon from hell that is sent to disrupt the service. Every demon from hell that is sent to disrupt, oh God Almighty, your work here in this church. We bind up principalities. We bind them up in the name of Jesus. And God, we declare that it is well in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth.
Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh my God. We're going to carry on. Yes. Hallelujah. Not a one. Praise the name of Jesus. Not a one. We are going to carry on. Yeah. Hallelujah. But we have the victory in Jesus. Yes. Somebody shout victory in Jesus. Victory. Victory in Jesus. Victory. God with our offering. We're going to worship God in giving. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're going to sing the hymn, I'm a glad pilgrim on my way. Praise God while we gather the ninth offering and we continue with our worship. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God and our Father, we come before you tonight, mighty God, because you are our Jehovah Zireh, our provider. As we give tonight, mighty God, for it's more blessed to give than to receive, mighty God. I bless this offering in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Can we worship the Lord? Let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We continue with our night's worship. It's the preacher's time. Glory be to the name of Jesus. And we are honored to have for the second time God's choice servant, Bishop Mark McLean. Praise God. We are happy tonight to have the Bamboo New Testament Church of God worshiping with us in a big number. Praise God. And we want to just put your hands together and appreciate the Bamboo Church. Hallelujah. Praise God. They will be ministering to our hearts at this time. But before they come or while they are coming, praise God, Bishop McLean, hallelujah, was born in the parish of Kingston, raised in the community of Central Village. Praise God, he is an ordained bishop of the New Testament Church of God, pastor in the Bamboo New Testament Church, overseeing the Bamboo District of Churches. He is the parish care officer for St. Anne, representing the ministerial care department. He is a graduate of Regent and the Bethel Bible College, serves as voluntary chaplain for the Jamaica Constabulary Force, of course, he's married to Yanisha and has one son, Ajani. As soon as the choir is through ministering, we will stand in recognition as we welcome to the podium Bishop Mark McLean to speak unto our hearts. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Testing one. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. To be the one God's calling for in this last and evil days, the one called to be a witness. For some souls who's gone astray, then to be used as his instrument, so men will see and learn that he's faithful to his promise. He made long time ago that he's coming back again. Oh, yes, he's coming back. He's coming back again. Glory, hallelujah. Bless his name and lift him up. Praise God. He's coming back again. He's coming. He's coming back.
Come on, somebody. Somebody give the Lord praise. Come on, give the Lord praise and glory. Give the Lord praise and glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's coming back again. Is there anybody in the house looking forward to the great return of our great Savior? Can you just clap your hands and give him praise and glory? Amen. In the house of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you very much, Bamboo Choir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for them again. Amen. And there are also other persons who are not on the choir. Amen. Brother and Sister Harvey, you stand with them also. Amen. And, and Everton. Amen. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for them. Praise the Lord. Praise God. You may be seated. Thank you so very much. I greet you well again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our soon coming King. I greet again your pastor, Reverend Lewin. Amen. I get it right, right? Right. Amen. It's good to be in the house another time. Amen. To lift up and to praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Last night we were here and we could feel the warmth of Christ's embrace. Amen. And we just want to, to let him have his way on tonight. Amen. Amen. And Mike or no Mike, we, we, we're going to preach. Amen. 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 We're going to preach, man. If you can't hear me, I'll come down in the middle and stand up just for you to shout hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But I'm in church long enough now to know that whenever the church begins to disturb the devil, he always try. Amen. But we don't allow that to allow, to, to allow us to feel discouraged. Amen. We, we feel like we are having the victory. Because the devil is upset. Amen. But we are glad when he's upset. Amen. He's upset, but we are glad. Amen. Anybody in the house glad that the devil is upset? Amen. And so we, we want our online viewers to know we are having some technical difficulties. Amen. But there is still a word from the Lord. Amen. Uh, brothers and sisters, as I... Seek the Lord as to what I should come and, uh, and share with you tonight. He brought me to a very familiar portion of scripture. Amen. And it is so familiar that I was trying to remember how many times I've preached from this text. Um, throughout my preaching um, time. And I, I could not count. Amen. Because from I did not know how to construct a sermon, I've been preaching from this text. Amen. So each time I go back to the text, I am, I, I am, I am more versed in um, understanding the text. So um, if you would have heard me preach from it before, especially Bamboo, amen, you are going to hear some different stuff tonight. Amen. From the gospel according to John. Amen. John chapter 11. And it's, it is so familiar to us that any one of us in this house can preach about Lazarus. Amen? Amen. So it is St. John chapter 11. And I want us to just read, brothers and sisters, start reading way down in verse 39. Um, the whole account started from verse 1. But verse 39 says, Jesus said, Take he away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he has been dead four days. Somebody say four days. 
Jesus said unto her, Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And I knew that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that you have sent me. And when he had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, Loose him and let him go. Somebody say amen. amen. I come simply tonight, God, brothers and sisters, just for somebody to know that Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Can you just look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it might be you. But Jesus is calling. The, the story of Lazarus, my brothers and sisters, is not strange to most of us. Lazarus and his sisters lived in Bethany according to the Bible. And many persons believe that these guys were wealthy people because Bethany was owned by them. That's what some people believe. A matter of fact, they said that there was a time when the city or the village was named after Lazarus. So it tells us, brothers and sisters, that Lazarus and his sisters were persons of importance. And last night, I would have reminded you that in Jewish history, when people are not too important, they don't mention their name. But notice in this text, Lazarus and his two sisters' names were mentioned. And that says to us, brothers and sisters, that they were important people in society. And uh, the Bible allows us to know, brothers and sisters, that it doesn't matter who we are. Trouble can take just anybody. Amen, church of God. So it doesn't matter whether you are influential or you don't have any influence at all. There will come a time when trouble can hit your life. And brothers and sisters, that is why when, when somebody is experiencing some trouble sometimes in their lives, we can't look at them and rejoice about what they are going through because there's an old saying that said today for me and tomorrow for you whichever way it goes so it tells us brothers and sisters that any one of us can have trouble in our lives but it's not the trouble that we have in our lives that matter it matters that when we have trouble in our lives we have Jesus in our lives that he can share our heavy burden. Can you just look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I have had some trouble sometimes in my life. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, say, neighbor, I've had some trouble sometimes in my life, but I had Jesus in the midst of it. Oh Lord, yeah. I, I, want, I wonder if the mic that was being used earlier um, may give me a little bit more um, volume than this one. The one that was being used earlier. Um, one of these. Which, which way where it is? Um, praise the Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the truth is, once you continue to live, you will have some trouble sometimes. 
Amen. There are times when you will have everything to rejoice about. And there are other times when you will find some situations to cry about. And the worst thing is that sometimes when you have your situation, people will want to believe that is something bad you do. Why you are going through what you are going through. But I rose tonight to tell somebody that once you are alive, you will have some troubles. You will have some heartaches. You will have some moderation. Come on, somebody. You will have some pain. You will have to shed some tears. My God, the Bible said that Lazarus took sick and his sisters, they sent message. And when you have the time, you can read the entire text it's a lengthy one they sent message to Jesus saying master he whom thou lovest is sick can you tell a neighbor Lazarus was sick come on tell somebody Lazarus was sick they said master he whom thou lovest is sick uh, and we want you to come and, and deal with Lazarus's situation and brothers and sisters you would imagine because each time I read this text I keep saying the same thing that they said to Jesus because they knew of the friendship the relationship that Lazarus had with Jesus they said master we know that there is a special relationship between you and Lazarus. Lazarus is sick. We want you to come and deal with Lazarus. I believe that if it was me and I heard that my friend was sick and sick unto death, I would have dropped everything and run to my friend. But the Bible said that when Jesus, somebody lift your hand and say, Jesus. Somebody lift your hand and say, Jesus. When Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick, Jesus turned to them and Jesus said, this sickness is not unto death, but it's that God will be glorified. I want somebody who have the privilege of hearing me tonight to know that the thing that is in your life, that you believe, that it has come in your life to kill you. It is not to kill you, but it's that God will get some glory. Oh Lord God Almighty, somebody, somebody just lift your hand. And declare Lord God, somebody just lift your hand and say, Lord, take glory. Because hear me, brothers and sisters. When, when it's time, when it's time, let me come down a little bit closer to you. Whenever. God Almighty. Lord God. Doesn't matter what he said over God
I am glad that I was not there. Oh God Almighty. Lord, I wish I, I wish I had the mic to preach to the man. But Jesus, Jesus said, I am glad for your sake that I was not there. That God will get some glory. Oh God Almighty. Can you just touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, Jesus. Jesus can get glad over your situation even when you are crying over it. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Lord God, are you hearing me loud and clear? Yeah, man. Jesus said, I'm glad that I wasn't there. But he said, come, let us go over there. And the Bible said that while Jesus was going over there, Jesus was not on any ear. Lord God, Lord God, because Jesus know that He has the power. Oh Lord God, you don't hear me. He, he, he has the power to deliver your pulley. He has the power to deliver you. So whether He, he, he arrive at ten o'clock or five o'clock. What matters is that Jesus is on his way. Lord God. Lord God. Can, can, can you just pull on somebody and say, neighbor, Jesus is on his way to your situation. Hallelujah. situation Jesus is on his way somebody clap your hands and pray and watch this I'll preach My check, my check, one, two, my check, my check, one, two. My check, in the name of Jesus. My check. My check, my check, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Blood of Jesus, the blood. System, your God. Show up, God, show up, show up, show up, God. Show up, God, show up, God, show up, show up, show up, show up. My check, my check. Yes. Check one, two. My check.
I will say magic, 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 magic one two. That it, it, it was no longer possible. They, 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 they were at a point where they were saying, no, no, that three days have passed. Then there is no way Lazarus can come back to life. Jesus have a way to wait until when things become humanly impossible. Because he's a God that specializes in the things that seem at impossible. Lazarus was already dead and buried. They wrap him up. They wrap him up. And if you know about Jewish history, when them have them dead and are like our dead, them will dress them up nice and put them in a nice jacket suit and bow tie and them something there. Me see some people will never wear bow tie yet. And when they, they, they dress them up in a, in a bow tie. Like, God, if you never give it to me when I'm alive, nobody put it on me when me dead. The Jews, they didn't know that. They wrap up their dead. In one inch strip of linen. And anytime they wrap up their dead, it's a sign that they believe that the thing cannot be changed or the person will not come back. I want to talk to somebody in Lower Buxton who have wrapped some things up and you believe that there can never be a change. God said to tell you, He's the resurrection and He's the life. And look here. I'm going to lick some things in our church too. Because do you know? Do you know that sometimes those who are in the church cause more damage to the church than those who are outside? Oh Lord. We can say it again. Some people who are in church, they cause more damage to the church than those who are outside. Because, well, hold on, you see when me hear people out of the road attack church business, and not them me upset with, because they're not in a church for no church business. Lord God Almighty, it must be somebody from the inside who carry our church business. Lord God, we have some secret agent in the church that keep carrying our church business. Oh God. And look here. On the north, he say amen. amen. But me know what me are talking about. Me know what me are talking about. I'm going to say this and, and, and go back to the text because as the Lord revealed it's something that me taught them. Did you know that some people love when they see church now go on right? Yes. Yes. Let me preach to Uno because Uno come from Bamboo so lower box stand can't say them me attack. Some people love when church now go on right. Yes. Lord God, you don't hear me now them love when they sit. Some things that run right in a church. But the devil is a liar. Let me say this to lower books and the church belong to Jesus. Uh, uh, the church belong to Jesus. And even, even if you donate the land, we build the church and a God church. And Jesus said upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell. Look here. I'm going to say this to and run back to the text. Anybody know me well? You know, so nobody can come, come, come full up my head but, nothing but, but, but none of my brother and sister. Oh. 
No, man. You can't handle that. Now nah, take that from you. You can't tell me nothing about my brother and sister. Cause you hear me say, my brother and my sister. Cause if, if, if you so bold to come and tell me about my brother and sister, you must bold go tell them too. Because, watch this. You, you have some people in church where it come like them work with funeral home. Oh. May I preach you now and go through me now on the mic. It come like them work with funeral home. Then love wrap up people and bury them. Yeah. Wrap them up and bury them. Because some, sometimes we have one, one, one brother or one sister in the church and they must struggle to serve God. And, and in, in, instead of we help them to serve God. We, we. There, 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 there is an old song, like all you, all you might know it. It's a secular song. It says, my mistakes are not worse than yours. All right. So not because you not do what the brother or sister do, you go kill them. No! Can I tell you, you know, some of we will fornicate. Some of we will work over here. Some of we will thief. Some of we will lie. And some of we, when he come on to backbiting. Oh, Lord God. No, no, no mention. If pastor not do it all you want, if he do. I, I, I saw me preach lower box and I saw me preach. I saw me preach. I can't give you a whole heap of Greek and Hebrew. I can't be knowing. But that's that another gospel. That's after my own preparation. To know what the text is saying. There are some people and some situations that we wrap up and put on. We give up on it too soon. You know, hear me somebody. But God is about to bring life back to some things in Lower Buxton. Watch this. Watch this. They wrap Lazarus up and they bury him and they put stone because it's not like our fancy thing that we have now. They roll stone there because they roll the stone because they believe that Lazarus would not come back. Can you just look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, not give up on me yet. Uh, Miss Sister, miss, some of you are upset, but I saw it go. Tell somebody, don't give up on me yet. And, and a matter of fact, if you are going to give up on me, make sure you give up on yourself too. Because look okay, here, anything that we give up on, we wrap it up and throw it down. Yeah. Not through me talking. They gave up believing that Lazarus could ever come back to life. But I'm glad that what man give up on. Oh, God Almighty. Lord God. Somebody help me preach you something, man. I say when man give up on, God not give up on it. Because brothers and sisters, if 
God was to give up on some of us, we would have been dead and gone a long time ago. I don't know about you, you know. I mean, no, so some of you are lower box stand saver than me. But there are a lot of time me give up on God. Yeah. Yeah, go, go, go and go tell your friend tomorrow morning, say, them I watch too. So you don't have to tell them. A whole heap of time me give up on God. I mean, I want someone to go and like a saver than me. Me saver, me love God. But there are times when I'm believing God to come true for me. At a certain point, and when me see God not come through um, for me, me, me actually throw me and I say, you know what? It don't make no sense. Hallelujah. But you know what I realize with God? God wait until you're at that point where you are ready to give up and die. Then he will just show up and declare himself to be the resurrection and the life. Look here. I remember, I remember 11 years ago when my mother died. And I was a pastor. I'm a pastor now for almost 20 years. So it, 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 it's me the pastor like for 10 years. And I pray for holy for people. Yeah. And God he heal them and bring them back. People that doctor give over to die. Yeah. I pray for them and they get their healing. Yeah. But then my mother was sick yeah. in the hospital. Yeah. And because I, I know I carry the healing anointing. They call me and say, come. Come, mama, mama not talking, nothing. And I went there because I know I carry that anointing. Yeah. And me go now and me rebuke sickness and me do all kind of something. And I'm believing that God would bring her back. But every day I realized she was getting worse. And then when she closed her eyes in death, I was upset with God. I wanna go on and see what I mean. I was upset with God. And I said, then God, oh, you use me to heal other people. And no, my mother, my mother sick and die. And you did not do anything about it. Jesus had to shut me up. He said, you think I didn't do anything about it? He said, I did something about it. Because this world had become so unfriendly to her. And it was time for her to come home to glory. What do you do when you call Jesus to do something for you and Jesus did not come when you call him? God, God, I want to talk to the church. I, wa I want to talk to some real people. shape them yeah. and they'll walk away. Yeah. And you know those of us who have more faith, we start to condemn them. Call Jesus because I've heard some people when, when them testify, you wonder if you know the same Jesus. Because it's like every time them call Jesus, Jesus do what them say. But there, there are those of us, our testimony. 
testimony is that we call on him. And what we expect him to do, he never did it. But on my testimony, on my testimony, I pray for hundreds of people and I see God heal them. But yet, me have to take blood pressure pill and all kind of pill. Come on, somebody. And when me have to take a pill, them, me have to pray over them too, you know, and I say, Lord, Lord, I pray that as, as this pill go down, let it be the last one I take. Look here. Me can't bother with fake people in a church. Me like real people. I remember one day, Sister Kelly, when I ball out to God, I said, God, medication expensive. I'm tired of it. I said, I'm tired of it. I said, God, I said, God, oh, oh you yeah, heal other people and they come up, come boost you and testify. Oh, oh, I don't have to go back to the doctor. I said, God, why you can't give me the testimony? You know what God said to me? He said, I want you to shut up because God know what to keep on you to keep you humble. So, so, so you see when, when we come at church sometimes and feel like my outfit are dead and I stagger before the pulpit and preach and when I preach and I see people get deliverance and God bless people when I put on the mic I can't say go on Marky go on I can't say that I have to say to God be the glory I want to talk to about five of you who you are getting ready to wrap up the situation because you believe that it has gotten to a state where it can no longer come back. So you're ready to throw in the towel. You're done with it. You're done with him. You're done with You're done. The devil is a liar. I want you to know that the resurrected power is in this house. I want somebody to just lift your hand and say, Lord, everything in my life that is dead, resurrect it in the name of Jesus. So watch this. And I'm going, I'm going to give you three Three points and, 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 and let you go home. The one is on the ground here. Pull this one. I'm going to give you three points. So watch this. Jesus came to a tomb of a stinking dead man. Because, I, I mean, why you feel so me I say anything out of the way? Read it. His sister said, by no, he stinketh. So in our Bible, yeah. right? So we get one day out of way. No. When you study science, not obeying no science, you realize that after three days, the human body starts to decay. Watch this. Make sure your, your stomach good now for you. We tolerate what I say now. Once the body starts to decay, and that is why you know, no, 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 we go on like say we hype and we all that and we all that. Yeah. Because all that we are going right now one day. Okay. You know, make no sense we show off, you know. And go on. Because, a matter of fact, some of we, when we're alive, we're good looking and we're beautiful. But when we're dead, at the funeral home, not do good. In putting we together. So when we come all night, casket, sometimes family say, I know, he, I know she that. Yeah. 
Once the body starts to decay, maggot, we call it maggot. Maggot starts to eat away at the flesh. And watch this now. Anywhere you find one maggot, maggot breed maggot. And they breed up fast. So maggots would have eaten away at the flesh after three days. So when Jesus showed up on the scene, Lazarus was in a decomposition. When Jesus came on the scene, at this point you would have to put on mask over your nose. His sister said, by now he stinketh. For he has been dead, what? For four days. But watch this. Watch this. Use your imagination with me. When body decay and maggot take it. Maggot, not just take it and stay there. Every maggot take a piece and go on about them business. And then go breed up with what they have taken from. Lord God. I want, I want, I want somebody in lower box time to know. That it doesn't matter the spiritual maggots. That have been eating away at your life. Because the resurrected Lord and his power is in the house. They will have to put back everything they have taken from you.
resurrection and life in the name of Jesus. Somebody lift your hand and show life, 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 life. Look here, look here, look here, brother. Look here, sister. This old Labakosato Ramahana. The situation might look dead. But Jesus, Jesus, Jesus show up. And when Jesus show up, everything that is dead will come to life. Because he is the resurrection and the life. Somebody better give him glory and praise in his house. Oh, watch this. Jesus gave a command. And as I said, Jesus could have rolled the stone away. He could have commanded the stone to be rolled away. But hear me, brothers and sisters. God will not do for us what we can do for ourselves. God will allow man to do what is humanly possible. Lord God, and we believe him to do what is humanly impossible. They could roll the stone away. So Jesus gave them a command. And he said, I want you to roll it away. It might be heavy, but roll it away. Lord God, just slap your neighbor and say, neighbor, it might be heavy, but roll the old dead stone away. Because Jesus is right here. Hallelujah. 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 And so when Jesus so up the tempter's power is broken when Jesus show up hallelujah all tears will be wiped away he'll take your gloom and fill your heart with glowing somebody lift your hand and give master God praise and glory in his house watch this Watch this. I don't even remember if I had given you the topic for the message. But the topic for the message is that Jesus is calling you. Ah, oh, can you just high five your neighbor and say, neighbor, Jesus is calling you. He's calling you. Say, neighbor, he's calling you. Because you are not just next in line for a miracle. You are standing right in place for a divine intervention. You are standing right in place for a miracle from the hand of God. I wonder if I can find about 20 people in this house that feel like you are now living and standing on the edge of your miracle. You are now living and standing on the edge of your breakthrough you are now living and standing on the edge of what God promised you let the devil roar all he want to roar let the devil talk all he want to talk let the devil try all he want to try Jesus said it's your time look at your neighbor say neighbor a few me time a few me time a few me time a few me time hallelujah watch this so when Jesus stood at the tomb of Lazarus remember Lazarus was in there yeah. dead can you just look at your neighbor and say neighbor Lazarus dead for true in the dead but watch this when Jesus call you Write it up. It's a personal call. Yeah. <laughs> Lord God, preach, Mark, you preach. I say it's a personal call. Because hear me, hear me, church of God. If 
Jesus, I just stood up and said, come forth. Lord God, every dead in Bethany would get up and come. But Jesus gave a personal call. He called Lazarus by name. He said, Lazarus! Oh Lord, I wonder if somebody can help me call some Lazarus, some brother Lazarus, some sister Lazarus, somebody show Lazarus! Oh God, oh God, oh God, Lord God, I dare somebody in Lower Buxton tonight, if you open your mouth and call Lazarus, your daughter will come out of the dead situation, your son will come out of the dead situation, your niece will come out of the dead situation, somebody show Lazarus! I am God Almighty. Hey, Sakura Baha. Laboko Sanda Baha Sito. Lord God, I, 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 I hear, I hear, I hear a shaking. I hear a shaking in Lua Boksana. Somebody open your mouth and call Lazarus. Lord God, some people who were at the graveside that have sense. Can you notice that some people in a church have too much sense? Those who had so much sense. I said, boy, Jesus, a madman. Because Lazarus did how much do you know? And you come and come call out Lazarus' name. I dare a mother in this house to call out Lazarus. You know, if you call your daughter name, but just call your daughter Lazarus. Call your son Lazarus. Lazarus! Watch this. Let me give you a revelation that God gave me concerning that. Remember that Lazarus was decomposed. Rotten. And maggot, maggot as we say. Eat away at the flesh. Take pieces of the flesh all about. So it wasn't just Lazarus who heard the call. If every maggot that had taken a piece of Lazarus heard when Jesus cried out for Lazarus and the, the Lord God I hear the maggot start talking to maggot and so we have to carry back we have to put back we have to put back can I tell somebody in Lower Buxton everything that the devil has stolen from you in this season said Almighty God they will have to put it back somebody shall put it back Lord God Lord God Lord God look on your neighbor and say neighbor neighbor feel I feel I feel something's coming back to life say neighbor I feel something's coming back to life everything that them old maggot have taken away everything that they have said everything that they have done we are reversing it in the name of Jesus Lord God, and we are declaring that you're coming out in the name of Jesus. Pull on your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. It's not by might. It's not by power. But it's by the Spirit. Watch this. 
Hallelujah. Oh, somebody just lift your hand and shout a quick hallelujah, no man. Somebody shout a quick hallelujah now. Hey, watch this. So, it was a special divine call. Because, watch this. Jesus was specific. He said, Lazarus. Lord God. And watch this. I'm going to go, teach you something. According to Jewish history, any name that you find in a community or in an area, it can be a family name. So there were more than one dead Lazarus in Bethany. Oh God, somebody now hear me. I said there was more than one dead Lazarus in Bethany. But you see, it doesn't matter how many persons have the same name that you have. When Jesus call your name, nobody can get your miracle. Nobody can get your breakthrough. Nobody can get your healing. Nobody can get your deliverance. I want somebody, whatever your name, just shout out your name in this atmosphere. So watch this. Give me 10 more minutes to, to anchor this. Uh, some of you never hear me a long time. Yeah. So let me give you 10 more minutes to hear me. So watch this. Lazarus that was dead heard the call. But remember, they had to wrap him up. They had tied him up and put him down. The hot God. So Lazarus could not walk out in style. Oh God. Because when they gave up on Lazarus, they wrapped him up and put him down. But when Lazarus heard the call, Lazarus said, tie up on it, tie up. I'm coming out. Hallelujah. Lazarus said, no matter where them tie me up with, I hear Jesus calling, and I can't walk on no sea. But never. Lord God Almighty, I wonder if I have some people in lower box stand who you're not afraid to just do some mystery thing and just jump. I wonder if anybody have some situation that you want to come out of. Can you just do like the mystery church and just... Lord God, I feel some Lazarus coming out. I feel some Lazarus coming out. Somebody just give another... Some people want their deliverance, but they want it cute and nice. Woo! But Lord God, if me have to jump in order to get my deliverance, I jump, me have to jump. If me have to shout, me have to shout. Lord God, if me have to clap my hand, me have to clap my hand. But I hear a divine call. I hear a calling. I hear a calling. And I'm coming out in the name of Jesus. Watch this. Watch this. So when Jesus called Lazarus, he was still wrapped up in a... Watch this. And, and this is a problem we have. Why may I have a piece of paper here? Yeah? <laughs> This is one of the problems we have in church. Is that we are quick to want 
to set people right before they come out. L L Lazarus heard the call. He was still tied up. But he came out being tied up. Lord God Almighty, can you just high five three person and say, neighbor, tie up or not tie up? I'm coming out, 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 I'm coming out. So watch this. I want, I want that somebody can just 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 jump from where they just jump just jump out just jump out just jump out just jump out ah ah jump out into your miracle jump out for your healing jump out for the salvation of your family jump out for your deliverance jump out for your breakthrough Jesus call your name so jump out Lazarus jump out and watch this so Lazarus came out but he was still tied up and I'm way down in verse 30 something, 40 something there something there. Lazarus came out, he heard the divine call and he came out but he was still tied up and Jesus said, me not call nobody out of that and left them tie up. So Jesus gave another command. He said, loose him and let him go. Lord God Almighty, I want somebody in a lower box stand. Just spin around where you're there. I said, loose me, loose me, loose me, loose me, loose me, son, loose me, daughter, loose me, husband, loose, loose me, family, loose me and let me go. Guys, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. The two things, the two things that did to Lazarus, they put the stone at them time up. And Jesus said, Lucy, can I tell about five of you in this house something? You see, some people. You see, some people that have tried to destroy you, God Almighty is going to allow the same people them to come right back to you and bring... God, you don't hear me. You don't hear me, somebody. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. So you don't worry yourself. You don't worry yourself. And not quarrel with them. Not fight with them. Because God will use them to deliver you. Okay. I told Bamboo this the other day. And them they know so me I preach me not innocent. Not innocent. Tell them. So, 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 me and your friend. Me and your friend when me not I preach. You see, once me I preach, me not have no friend till when me done. Have no friend. And that, that is why I always tell people, get to know me apart from the pulpit. Because it's when, when we take Mr. Michael a serious business. And I, I told them the other day, I said, some people, you're yeah, going to ask you how you do, how things. <laughs> I, 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 I wonder them, I wonder. All where them I try, they want to know how it will go. Yes, sir. Lord God, Lord God, Lord God, Lord God, 
Lord God, but can I can I tell can I tell Lower Buxton in this season when some people come to you and I ask you how you do how things, just tell them I'm still here. Can you look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm still here. The Bible said, let me, let me, let me, let me stop here. I could preach a little bit more, you know. Let me, let me anchor this something here, sir. Lazarus came out and wrap up and Jesus said, loose him. I'm let him go. And if you read the text further down and into the other chapters, because of this miracle, the Sadducees and Pharisees decided that they were going to get rid of Jesus. Can I tell somebody in Lower Buxton tonight that after your next miracle, watch out for the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Because watch this. Some people don't mind you remain in the same dead situation. Them not mind. Them not mind. But I want somebody in this house to know that that same resurrection power that Jesus exhibits at the tomb of Lazarus that same resurrection power that rose Jesus from the dead it is still as powerful as it was and it doesn't matter how dead your situation be and let me hasten to say this the call that Jesus gave to Lazarus it symbolizes the call that we give to sinners to live a dead life and to come into life eternal. I want somebody in lower box down to know Jesus is calling you. He's calling you. And let me say this, keep standing because I'm finished. I'm finished. And, and Bam Bamboo know that I don't keep church later than 9 o'clock. We don't church by nine. <laughs> Let me say this to you. You might be in this house. And you might say, what, what, what is preacher man at table? You know what I'm talking about? If you don't know Jesus Christ, you are dead in trespasses. Yeah. I, I, and I, I know... We are, we are living in the time now where people believe all kind of something. Jesus, save your pile at me over life tempest, you see. You see, ever since the, the, the pandemic, Jesus, peace, the amount of other kind of something. If you, if you follow social media, you know, if you go to church. Because church is at your fingertip. People lie down in them bed under face mask and say they're in a church. <laughs> but one thing I know, the word of the Lord does not change. And it says we should never forsake the assembling of ourselves together. So social media good you know. Because some day work and can't come. Some shut in and can't come. But if your body at work and you can't come at church, if you come at church. I saw me stay. And you see like how me never get to preach tonight. Your pastor go have to call me to preach again. You 
Never get to preach how many want to preach something, you know. But I have to give myself an invitation to come back. And uh, 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 your bam, bamboo said they're ready to come back to. I stand right here. And I want to call somebody to an altar of repentance. You don't know Jesus. You may know about him. But you don't have a relationship with him. Get up from where you are and come. We want to pray for you before we go. Whatever you see yourself as, whether a sinner, a backslider, or a unchurched, we have all kind of names where people use for to feel offended. Yeah, so some you can call them sinner, you have to say they're unchurched. But if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, I mean, I talk about you say, our oh, Father, prayer, and then something because some people think it's a relationship that you know you do not profess to have accepted Jesus as Lord. I want to pray for you real quick. Come. Come. And those who are watching us via the internet, I want you to know that right where you are, you can make an altar right there and accept Jesus in your life. And you know, I'm, I'm so convinced that the preaching of the gospel will soon be over. I am convinced more than ever. And, 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 and I, I have some friends that I keep telling them, I, I am more serious now than ever. Because I am watching heaven's time clock. And I realize that heaven's time clock, it's winding down to bring the Savior back. Come real quick. And I'm not going to plea for long. Come, you are not saved. Come. Come, we want to pray for you. Come real quick. Come, if you are not saved, come. We want to pray. Everybody in this house saved? Everybody saved? If you're saved, you're good enough. If you're saved, you're good. We're not, we're not bad at you if you're saved. And if you know you're saved, you're good. But if you know you're not saved, come. Come for prayer. Bless you. Come, is there another one? Is there another one? Come. Come. You're not safe. Come. We want to pray and go home, you know. We want to pray and go home. You're not safe. Come. Come. Stand, stand right at the altar there. Stand. Stand right up there. Come. Come. We need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray. Is coming who want to pray? It's prayer time, it's prayer time, it's prayer time. Stand with me, church. Stand with me. I want every Christian in this house to stretch your hands toward this altar. If you are not saved, don't stretch your hand to the altar. If you are not saved, you want the Christians to stretch your hand. Uh, and, and hold on. Um, all the singing, all the singing, all the singing. 
I wonder if you see what, 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 what is happening right here. Huh? You see what is happening right here? It's four men standing on the altar. And, and look here. Me hear, me hear some people are, are, are going like say, real man no serve the Lord. A real man serve God. Real man. I, I, I was talking to one of my, my brother's sister by his um, mother's side, the one who died um, just a few days ago. So his sister in Canada reached out to me today. And, you know, she was interrogating me because she had never met me, right? And, um, you know, she was, she was telling me, you know, asking me some questions, you know, that she don't know about the McLean family, you know? And um, she was saying, oh, how old are you? So I, I tell her that I'm as old and young as I look. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so she said, I, oh, I, 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 your daddy, your, can my father, you know, had 30 children, you know. She said, how much kids do you get so far? I said, one. I said, one. My father, they have all the rest. Because that doesn't make you into a man. So, so if you say, boy, you have trailer load of girl on it. Matter of fact, man no want a girl. Man fi have woman. But girl. Girl a girl, a girl on. Tonight as you stand on this altar. I give you Jesus. And I'll give you no church. And anybody know me well. Me not give nobody in a church. Me always say any hey, once you see you've got any church, you think suit your 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 spiritual belief. Because me not build up church. Me build up kingdom. A kingdom me about not church. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, I can't guess what. You see, you see, if I two church, no, we have to build up here, you know, but two other few, we have passed, we have passed through it. We just believe in people getting saved, and if you, if you, if you get saved, and you see one church up the road, where where fit, where you believe, you just go there. Cause you're still up on this, the crown, you know. You're still up on the crown, no matter where you go, you're still one star upon the crown. Tonight, I offer you Jesus without any fanfare and bamboo people know me. They know me well. Me not really plea with people. The Bible says we, we, we should warn you, but me not, me not believe in forcing you. I believe in offering you Jesus and out of your conscious heart, you make a decision to serve the Lord. And you're going you to realize one thing tonight. Me now ask if you put up your hand either. I did that last night. No, so, no, so no, I put up now and, and trick me. Can people put up and not be, and up, and up mean it. You, you, you lift your heart to Jesus. And that's enough. Will you bow your head right where you are? Church, help me to pray for them. You might know them and know their names. Help me to pray for them. Father, we come to you in the name that is above every other name. We come to you in the name of Jesus. Demons tremble at your name. Burdens are lifted in your name. People are saved through your name. And so, Lord, we call upon you even this moment. Lord, we present these men that are standing at this altar. Lord, you know each one by name. You know where they live. You know everything about them, God. I ask you, God, that you will do for them even now more than we can do. 
Father, we can preach to them, we can witness to them, but Lord, only you can change the heart. And so, Father, we ask you right now in the name of Jesus that, Lord, you will do a heart transplant at this altar. Take out of them the heart, O oh God, that yearns after sin and give them a heart to respond to you. Father, we pray for their individual situation. We ask that you will work it out for your glory and for your whole name's sake. Father, we pray for someone that might be watching us, O oh God, from the comfort of their homes or they might be on the job, Lord. And even at this moment, Lord God, they feel the conviction of your spirit. I pray for their soul salvation. Divine Master, I ask of you tonight that you will save someone for your glory. And save them by your own name's sake. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name. Somebody clap your hands and shout aloud. Amen. Amen. My, my brothers, my brothers, my brothers. As I said last night, I will repeat myself on tonight. For those of you who are from here. You can't do that. You know, you know do that. Right? Because um, unless you're going to come back up here, so. <laughs> so right. But if you have made a conscious decision to serve the Lord, talk with the pastor. Talk with him. I don't know if him do like me and give out the number to everybody. Yeah, him not have to do that. Uh, that's just my style. Because me give out my number. Me give out my number. But I know every call me answer. Because sometimes you see the phone ring, you know, and the spirit said, no, not bad to answer it. And you make it ring, you don't know who, but you don't answer it. Because that they call, they're going to disturb your inner man and your spirit. Yeah. But talk with the pastor of the church. Talk with the leaders and tell them, look here, man, we want to serve the Lord. Can you hear me? God is doing his final drawing. It's the final drawing. For people to come into the kingdom. Because if you read the Bible and the things that the Bible warns us that would have happened in the last days, it is open us up to our neck. I think in one of them, I think it's Dubai. Is it in Dubai? They are underwater now for days. Dubai, Dubai is a place where everybody wants to go. But Dubai underwater for much days. And these things are called signs and wonders in the land. I say to you, give Jesus a chance in your life. Because no man, no woman ever serve God and lose. Never. I started at the age of 17, going into 18. And my age on the pan calendar again. Uh, you don't know. <laughs> it's on the pan calendar. You can't find it on calendar anymore. And that is why I, 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 I don't have the energy to preach like them, the young guy. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm out to be exited too. I've been traveling with Jesus for most of my life. For most of it. And ask me if I ever have a moment that I said, you know, I'm sorry that I'm a Christian. No. No. I'm not sorry. Me glad. Maybe if I wasn't a Christian, me that dead already. Can my head hot you know? But then Jesus has, has taught me how to be calm. How to manage my anger and my emotions. You, you, you get me? So the work that Christ has done in me. And he's still working on me. You know? He's still at work for me because my head's still with chip sometimes. 
But when it chipped me, just say, Lord, help me, Jesus. But I say to you, serve the Lord and serve him with gladness. And if you never heard, hear this voice one more time or ever see this face again, I bear witness on this night that I have said to you, give your life to Jesus. Because my determination is to see the end of a Christian journey and to be with Jesus. And when I stand in glory, I will be among the saints that will be witnesses against the earth to say, we did tell them about Jesus. I look forward to see you again. But if it's not in this life, I look forward to see you around the throne of God. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Brothers and sisters, we give God thanks for his word through his son, his servant. And I invite you to stretch your hands toward him at this time as we pray God's blessing upon him. And Father, we thank you for your man's servant who spoke, thus said the Lord, who you've called and anointed and you've given a word for tonight. Lord, I place him in your hands. We ask God that you restore his strength. Lord, spiritual strength and physical strength. Everything that he has used, every energy that he has used tonight, God, physically, to impart your word, we pray that you will restore it unto him. Even now, Father, give him spiritual strength also, God. We cover him. We ask you, Lord, to cover him under your blood, from the crown of his head, O oh God, to the very sole of his feet. Send angels, God, even now, to stand guard around him against the whiplash, against the backlashes, against the revengeful attacks of the enemy. We bind them up, we curse them, we send them back to the pit of hell, and we declare your man's servant surrounded, covered completely, comprehensively and I pray that as he journeys home you will go with him as the brethren from bamboo journey home father journey with them we pray for journey mercies complete and comprehensive coverage in the name of Jesus and all the other churches that are here tonight God as they journey home God go with your children we pray in the name of Jesus and God's people say, Amen and Amen. Praise God. You may walk back to your seats. I'm going to be asking all the persons who have surrendered throughout the course of this week. Sunday school begins 9.30 here on Sunday. And I want to have, while the regular Sunday school is going on, I want to be talking with all those who have surrendered. So as long as you can make it here Sunday morning around 9.30, I will be looking forward to being here with you. Amen? Praise the Lord. And so I'm asking you, I'm begging you please to be here Sunday morning at 9.30. I want to thank Bishop McLean for availing himself these two nights. And also for tonight, as a preacher who preached all over the place, I know the challenge that he faced tonight, you know. And so when I go, you know, elsewhere to preach, one of the first concerns I have is the system. Amen? So I do understand how difficult it must have been tonight. And I also know you understand, Rev, we've been having some challenges since last night. But I thank God that he pushed through nonetheless. Amen? Praise God. And while some of us, we weren't able to hear, those on the live stream could hear. That's why I ask him to still use the microphone. Because those on the stream, once he is using the phone, they could still hear. So that's why I'd ask you to continue using the microphone. Amen? So they were a little bit more privileged than us inside the house. Amen? Praise God. But we made it through. Amen? And we ask that you pray for us 
that the Lord will help us to fix the problem going forward. Amen. I want to particular, particularly say thanks to the brethren from Bamboo. Thank you. And indeed, your presence here has really made a difference in our service tonight. Amen. And, and we really thank you. And guess what? No, we are no family. Bamboo is now our big sister. Amen. Amen, Lord Buxton. Yes. You know, this that we have started cannot end. Praise the Lord. So, me adapuno as we big sister for Lord Buxton. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, we really appreciate your coming. And all the other churches who came throughout the week and participated, Middle Buxton in their own way have supported. Amen. Praise God. One sister has been here every night. And others would have been here when possible. And we want to thank you. I don't know if there's any other church here that I may not mention tonight. But the community members who have been coming out, unsaved friends, and those who have surrendered, we want to say thank you. And we appreciate the support that you have been giving. And I can't leave out our online viewers. Praise God. Um, up to last night, for some nights we have 1,500. Another night we had 2,000. I think last night we had up to 3,000. I'm not sure what the count is tonight. So we have a larger church in virtual space. So we thank you for joining us, um, online viewers. And we pray God's blessing upon you. Amen. Praise God. Sunday night is our final night. And I want to invite each and every one of you to come on out Sunday night and worship God as we bring the curtains to a close. I want to thank my very own members here at Lower Buxton. Praise God. You have done well. And I want to encourage you to continue. And I believe that you can do even better. So I commend you for doing well throughout this week. Our musicians, our technicians, my God, you had a fight tonight. Praise God, but praise God, we pulled through somewhat. Praise team, I want to thank all of you, counselors, and just about everybody. Thank you very much, and we look forward for a wonderful time on Sunday night. Amen. The Lord bless you. Can we stand? Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this wonderful time in your presence. We thank you for the solid word that you've sent to our hearts through your man's servant. I pray, God, that you will breathe upon us, your children, as we're about to go. We pray for journeying mercies. Even, Lord, as we journey home, be with us. Cover us under your blood. Father, as we go throughout the rest of the weekend and we get ready for worship on Sunday, bless our hearts, O oh God Almighty. Give us physical and spiritual strength. Lord God Almighty, we thank you for the outpouring throughout this week. We glorify your name, God, and we tell you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Just greet somebody as you go and speak a blessing over their lives. Amen and amen. <laughs>